<laughs> the Casper family loves getting together, going through family albums and reminiscing about special memories. Oh, yeah. Good picture there. Mm -hmm. The Casper story began when Richard and Carol met almost six decades ago. Carol was smitten the moment they met. So anyway, he called, and that's where the start. That was in 1962, and we got married in 1964. It's been quite a journey. A journey that took them around the world with Richard's job as a jet propulsion aircraft engine technician for the U.S. Air Force. His service included tours in Vietnam and maintaining Air Force One for President Richard Nixon. Then, in the midst of their retirement, their world took a devastating turn. I mean, we, we were hit with a bomb, <laughs> pretty you much, right. because uh, October the 5th, 2019, um, he suffered a seizure. Richard was rushed to the hospital. It took a series of tests and even surgery to confirm the grim diagnosis. So anyway, when he had the surgery, that's when we got the definite diagnosis that it was glioblastoma stage four. Glioblastoma is one of the most challenging cancers to treat. Right now, there's no cure. Mr. Casper was given less than a year to live. But Richard Casper had the heart of a fighter. In the Air Force, he was on the Golden Glove boxing team and also had his black belt in Taekwondo. With glioblastoma, he was ready to take on the fight of his life. But I think the biggest thing I gotta get rid of right now is trying to get the rest of my balance back. And I, I think I'll probably uh, be able to roll with the punch. Richard sought treatment at Mayo Clinic Comprehensive Cancer Center in Arizona under the care of doctors Alex Porter and Sujay Vora. Because he approached life with such vigor and he approached beating this disease and going through treatment with that same amount of vigor that really inspired everyone who he came into contact with. They look at it in the microscope and they can see that where there's more activity. Dr. Vora has been researching brain tumors and treatments for two decades. Both agreed Richard was an ideal candidate for a study examining an innovative treatment. The study incorporates advanced medical imaging with 18F DOPA PET and MRI to pinpoint the areas of the brain with the most aggressive cancer. Those areas are targeted with radiation, using proton beam therapy, reducing side effects, and sparing healthy brain tissue. And the other critical part of this regimen is that it's much more convenient for patients too. So instead of the traditional three to six weeks worth of radiation, we were actually able to complete their entire treatment in one to two weeks, which allowed more time for patients to stay with their family. Richard's daughter, Susan, shared her dad's progress at an event with Dr. Porter at her side. My dad got his diagnosis and he was told he would have seven to nine months to live. And almost two and a half years later, this angel on earth has given him the best few years of his life. The study's results were presented to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, which showed many participants, <laughs> like Richard, lived longer while maintaining their quality of life. Sadly, Mr. Casper passed away on March 8, 2023 almost two years longer than expected. What he went through and even did during the trial made a big difference in helping other people along the way. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Marty Velasco-Hames.